What is up you guys? Cameron here with another video. Today we are going up Sylvester Road. We're going to go up there. I am uh, starting this video off with me airing out the tires again um, because we are going off-roading on some gravel road. Not as bad as going up to Hemlock there. I'm going down to 25 PSI and uh, that's what we're going to rock all the way up. I'm going to try and document video as much as I can for you guys. I don't know how much you can hear with, with the Subaru on right now. But um, I'm sorry I didn't get a video out for you guys on Friday. Um, stuff happened, stuff at the house happened. I did hurt my fingers. I don't know if you guys want to see that or not, but yeah, I kind of was uh, running around all day so I didn't get anything done. So yeah, we're gonna do this and uh, go up Sylvester Road. So let's get to it. All right, so we are just about, just past 10 kilometers up and uh, I'm gonna pull out the drone here because uh, you're gonna like what I'm seeing right now. Also, we found snow. Kelsey wanted snow, that's all she wants. And we got Cooper in the back here. Cooper hasn't seen snow in a while. forgot my camera so I'm not gonna get any photos unfortunately of the Subi uh, kind of remembered as we were driving out here but uh, hopefully you like that little bit of uh, drone footage we're gonna keep going I noticed with the drone that there's a lake a little bit farther up I don't know how far out it is this is the farthest I've been actually I think I've gone a lake two kilometers more up this road so um we'll see where this takes us but yeah we're gonna keep going and um i don't have a suction cup mount to mount you up on the car yet but i might get kelsey to hold the camera and see uh see what we get we haven't we haven't really gone through anything too crazy yet it's been just kind of bumpy road nothing nothing too fun but it's a, it's a i guess you could call it soft roading so yeah let's uh let's uh, get to it make sure i don't forget anything small but uh we're gonna go see what's up down there All right, so we just explored the lake. Gonna start going that way. 
continue going that way. We came from that way. Roads are really bumpy. All right, so we are about 12 kilometers up the road and uh, starting to get a little bad. With us being alone, probably not the best idea that we uh, continue on. So we're gonna go back. There's a couple spots where we can have a little bit of fun. So we're gonna go back and uh, go have a little bit of fun. So I thought we were gonna be able to do a bunch of uh, donuts and stuff up here, but uh, looks like someone's already beat us to it. With the ground being so, with the ground being so frozen and bunch of rocks everywhere we won't be able to have some fun so uh, we're gonna continue on and see what we find and maybe we'll find another location We are actually, actually we're not that far out of the snow, but uh, I just wanted to show you guys this because it actually looks pretty nice. Very pretty here. Pretty, I can't believe it, she's pretty. Very nice here. Maybe I'll throw the drone out, fly it that way. I'm not sure yet. I think that'd be kind of fun, so maybe I'll do that. I gotta say, flying that drone under that bridge was probably the scariest thing I've done with the drone. I haven't owned it for long, so that was kind of risky. But yeah, I just want to show you guys this view again, because it's just so nice. All right, we will continue onwards, make it back to the main road. I have a... Uh, uh, one of those portable compressors to, sh to use to pump my tires back up. I'm going to show you guys that because it's one of the best things I've ever bought. Alright, so we are off the, uh, the road now, Sil Sylvester Road. Um, this is the one thing I'm going to recommend for you guys. For all you guys that are off-roaders, soft-roaders, whatever. If you guys air down and you need something to um, air back up with. I bought this... Uh, Motormaster portable compressor. It literally connects right. It connects right to your uh, battery, and then they connect right to your um, stems on your tires and your wheels. And you set your PSI right here, and it just automatically starts and stops when it hits the desired um, pressure. So uh, I'm gonna do that right now, and that's where I'm gonna end up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it was enough content. Uh, it was just a quick little exploration of that road. There's so many trails to go down, but because Kelsey and I were by ourselves, we had no recovery gear, um, no winch, nothing to get us out of a pickle if we got into one. Um, so we are not going down any of those trails yet, but I'm gonna see if I can gather some friends up and maybe we can start going up and down those uh, trails and have some fun. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe for more content like this. Drop a like. And yeah, remember, be authentic.